You can't even see what's new here until you decide to use your neck and look up at the sky. This is RFS Update 205. And I have no idea why this intro sounds like a trailer. Anyways, back to the clickbait voice. Today we're checking out RFS 205, which is actually probably not out yet. But I have it, somehow. So I'm gonna show you in detail one of the best updates RFS ever had. In this update, we get new clouds and something else, which we'll see later. They look amazing, right? But it's not just casual clouds. I remember the first Microsoft Flight Simulator trailer where everyone was hyped about the graphics and the clouds, which, for one of the first times ever, was not a skybox or some truly ugly stuff. This is what we call volumetric clouds. And yes, now this is literally in RFS. Did you guys remember those old clouds looking like the texture of a game from 20 years ago? Well, it's gone. Not entirely, though. You'll understand later. These are skater clouds. Basically, it's lots of small clouds making it look honestly sick from the ground and very satisfying to go through. But taking a bit of altitude and it feels repetitive. A bit like the old textures, but here it's not totally repetitive if you look closely. Also, you will never notice in a normal airliner altitude. I'm way too high right now. This is the few clouds settings where, as you might guess, there is few clouds. Then we have broken clouds which for me looks the best. It's some big and thick chunks of clouds, which really looks very fluffy and makes me want to fly into it. It is quite relaxing, not gonna lie. And the last setting which is covered, and suddenly it's night. Well, not really, it's just a weird effect when you go under the clouds due to the holes in the cloud being dark. I don't even know why it looks like this. Even when we are over the cloud, we can just see through. Something I love with these clouds is the seamless transition between darkness and blue sky. That's something that used to suck with 2D clouds textures. Let's see how it looks with various weather and time of day. This is how it looks in the morning, and you can already see the second feature of this update, which we'll see soon. The colors are done quite nicely nicely at night, I really like the ambience it gives. And this is a sunset which for me looks amazing. Let's get over the clouds to see how it looks. Also let's see this transition from under to over the clouds. And wow, it looks crazy. The only thing missing is the red, pink, orange, whatever color from the clouds. This is how fog looks, not much has changed, but the sun going through the clouds looks quite crazy, not gonna lie. We also have rain which is the exact same thing, but more interesting is thunder. It looks impressive to see these lightning strikes from the cloud. From up in the sky, we can't even know it's raining, snowing, thundering, uh, fogging or clearing, because in all case it looks clear. This could be fixed in a future update by making the clouds cover everything, or by making it rain only under clouds, like in Microsoft Light Sim, where you can also see where it rains. But honestly, these volumetric clouds are just amazing. I love almost every aspect of them. We should just have more settings to change the altitude, wideness, and also have Cyrus Cloud. If you're wondering how this will affect your phone's performance, well, it affects it very badly. I have a Red Magic 7, which is a gaming phone, and has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But whenever I zoom in and out, I go from 30fps to 15. This is already a bad sign, so I tried on my old phone, and it is literally suffering right now. Rest in peace. So what can you do about it? Either put graphics down, here's how clouds looks on medium graphics. Or just turn off volumetric clouds with a new option in the settings. Whenever it's turned off, you can get back to the good old 2D clouds, which is why I was saying they are not completely gone. Look at this goofy uh, cloud.png made. The final big feature is, as you've just seen earlier, the volumetric lighting. This adds so much to the global lighting. This volumetric lighting reacts to objects, like your plane, and wow, it looks impressive. It also works for buildings, for some even cooler airport shots. And even with clouds, which is such a great detail. 
Also a new small feature, when some AGI ports are too close to each other, they merge together, as you can see right here. This is pretty cool because we're getting so many AGI ports these days. Without it, the map will be literally full. Don't hesitate to subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and also watch the video in the center, please. You have 3 seconds left, have a nice day or a night, I don't know.